Hey everyone, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to find out what sort of memory or hard drive upgrades you can add to your computer is, I'm going to show you that today. One of the tools that I came across was this one called Crucial System Scanner. Uh, literally all you have to do is you just download the application, you run it on your computer, and then it just gives you a list of um, options in terms of memory and SSD hard drives that you can use to upgrade your computer. So I'm just going to open up a web browser here and I'm going to go to, or we're going to search, sorry, for Crucial System Scanner. And we're going to click on the first link, crucial.com. And in order to run the scanner tool, you will want to click on this checkbox here that says, I agree to terms and conditions. I, I haven't read the terms and conditions. If you want to read it, go ahead. I don't think anyone does this these days, so I don't even know why they put it. For all I know, they could be sending my data off to the NSA. Who knows? So once that's done, you click on the scan computer button right here. And you're going to click on the application to run it. Just going to scan your computer right now. It doesn't take that long, probably a few seconds to a minute. And once that is done, you will see all the options that you have available to you in terms of upgrades. So once that's done, uh, as you can see here, uh, this is my machine that I have. I have a Dell Optiplex 7010 and it gives you a list of compatible upgrades that are supported for this desktop. So what you see here is you'll see that all four of my memory banks are filled. Now, when I got this computer, I, I got this computer from work. They were looking at e-wasting a whole bunch of these and I just pick one up. I think other people can get these sort of computers from eBay for like maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars. And the specs that it comes with is, is great. Uh, it's great for my needs here. But when I got the computer, uh, two of the memory banks had uh, four gigabyte memory modules each. And I just went ahead and used this tool and purchased two more. So what you see here, if we scroll down a bit more, um, well, sorry, before I scroll down, you'll see the maximum memory that your computer is supported up to, 32 gigs. Um, eight or sorry four slots of eight gigabytes each you can go that route for me 16 was perfect but you see here it gives you all the options in terms of uh, memory that you can purchase for your computer now you don't have to purchase this brand specifically this is what I, this is what I ended up doing I just purchased their brand it, it was just super easy for me and then I just bought it off of Amazon if you want you can look up uh, these specs here specifically just to get the type of memory that your computer supports and then you could purchase like some other brand. When I looked it up online I think the other brands cost like maybe one or two dollars more but that price fluctuates so it's up to you. And then what you'll see here is also the SSDs that are uh, supported for the machine as well. I didn't purchase an SSD, I just stayed with the standard 250 gig um, hard drive that it came with, and again, it's just perfect for my needs. But for those of you looking for a quick and easy way, instead of like digging through all this research online, trying to figure out what sort of um, memory or hard drives would be supported or watching all these other crazy tutorials, all you have to do is just use this tool right here, and it's going to be perfect for you. All right, hopes this help. Uh, hope this helps. Thank you.